Well, time for Only in Canada now, and a story that came from a viewer. Thank you. It's the tale of one man and his kayak on a cross-country journey to honor his son. Today, he paused long enough to share part of it with us on the banks of the St. Lawrence River in Longueuil, Quebec. The CBC's Andrew Chang has his story. Okay. It's an idea so ambitious, so potentially dangerous, you'd have to be crazy to do it. But as Michael Hartley's family likes to say, he's the best kind of crazy. I'd always wanted to do this from the time I was a kid. The goal, paddle and portage across the country. He started four and a half months ago in Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, paddled the North Saskatchewan River, the Ottawa River, and onto the St. Lawrence towards Quebec City. Hartley comes from a long line of fur traders who traveled these waters centuries ago. So I'd always wanted to do these rivers and the, this, this pathway you know, for, that, for that purpose, just to, to, to be part of that legacy. The other reason he paddles, his son, Strawn. Five years ago, he lost his battle with cancer. He was a promising athlete, just like the rest of his family. Hartley's daughter is Blythe Hartley, a three-time diving Olympian. And Hartley himself was a bobsledder in the 1972 Olympics. It's this connection to sport that spawned the Strawn Hartley Legacy Foundation. So far, he's raised about $30,000, but it hasn't been easy. Early on, Hartley nearly drowned when his overloaded kayak hit a rock and flipped over. I'd never been in that kind of cold water before, and I was shaking. And in the end, his resolve was shaken too, but the memory of Strawn kept him going. But he, he wouldn't have quit. So quitting isn't an option. 4,700 kilometers later, he's in the home stretch. And for this last leg, his brother is coming along for the ride. Have you ever done anything like this before? I've done some serious paddling in northern Ontario, but that was 40 years ago. From here on out, the Hartleys will travel about 350 kilometers that way. That's about six days of paddling, eight hours a day with all their gear, sleeping wherever they can, rain or shine. I've got my, my rain gear on and so uh, I'm ready to go. Do you think there's a chance they might drive each other crazy? Definitely, yeah. There's a chance only one of them will make it. <laughs> but for better or for worse, these two brothers are making their final push to make their legacy a reality. Andrew Chang, CBC News, Montreal.